bringing the people behind our food to life. With thermal banking, it's not just heat that we can conserve as a form of energy. Uh, any farm that needs cooling for refrigeration, whether it's eggs or um, produce, uh, can conserve that cold and bank it for use in the summer for refrigeration. And that's, that was the logical extension once, once I developed that concept of, of thermal banking with solar, starting to think about, well, we're spending a lot of energy cooling in the summer to cool our produce and to keep our, our produce and eggs cool. Why not store winter cold? And we're in process building an ice house, which is not a new concept. Many of my Amish friends still have ice houses and, and the town that I grew up in still had an ice, ice house standing when I was a child. There's a lot of stored energy in ice and being able to store that ice and use it through the summer, or even if you stored cold by freezing a, a large mass of ground, by pulling air through that ground in the winter and freezing up a huge mass that you had isolated with insulation, thermally isolated from the rest of the ground, which is a constant 55 degrees, 45 to 55 degrees, uh, to keep it even colder could be a, a real source of not only refrigeration, but air conditioning to uh, keep uh, your workspace cooler um, on these 80, 90 degree days.